Well, I have um, created a video and uh, been on the elliptical and I took the uh, re recycling out and the garbage and uh, brought the Herbie back up and I've brought Guido out back and I have a come because he is shedding right now and it comes out in white little clumps so I'm going to uh, comb him. Um, that's something that we don't do very often at all but since now is the time that he's shedding I brought him out here to do that and I think it might make him feel good I don't know um, he has not felt well today he um, did not eat his food for breakfast and it is now like 1230 in the afternoon um, and you're talking about his food's been sitting there since 630 this morning so it's still in there in the bowl he hasn't eaten it he has not laid in his normal spots he's lying in different spots so um, I don't know what's going on with him but I brought him outside um, just I think combing him might make him feel better I don't know it, you know Kevin made a good point last night that I hadn't thought about um, we were talking about him not being able to hear and Kevin said you know you comment on me patting him all the time because Kevin's constantly patting on him when we're sitting on the couch and um, he said but that's the only he since he can't hear that's the only affection that he is is receiving because you can tell him all day long you're a good boy and how much you love him and care about him but he can't hear you saying that so really unless you're physically touching him um, that's all that he's receiving so um, anyway I'm hoping this will make him feel better and um, we were just talking last night too about how he's going to be 10 years old in July. It's just hard to believe that he'll be 10. But um, anyway, I'm going to comb him out and I'll get back with you later. Just so you can see if he'll stand here for me. These are the clumps I'm talking about. These little clumps of hair. And look, you can pull them right off there. And But they come out on the carpet. You'll see these little tufts of hair. And <laughs> I mean, literally, I'm not hurting him. I'm just... Um, he's not used to having to stand here, but I'm just pulling them out and that's all over my carpets in the house So I'm gonna see what all I can get Look, it's a baby pug Yeah, a baby pug and I can get more that is just amazing amazing That is a lot of hair It feels like a bit like Groundhog Day today. Uh, just because the movie Groundhog Day where Bill Murray has to keep doing things over and over again. I love that movie, but get down, Chapel. I don't like experiencing it myself. Uh, what I mean by that is I've had to restart a video, a vlog. I've had to restart it twice now, and that doesn't sound bad. That doesn't sound, sorry, I just turned the light on. That doesn't sound hard. However, you're talking about having to fill in all this information that you've already filled in. And you're talking about, sorry, I'm trying to sit you down, sit you down, there we go. Um, you're talking about just having to fill in um, title and picture and all the information. It's just a lot of work. And if you've never done it, you won't understand. But Take it from me, it's a lot of work. Uh, anyone that does vlogs, um, it's not easy. And I'm not complaining because I, I enjoy doing it, but I enjoy doing it once for per video, not three times. So anyway, um, Kevin um, had a meeting today and then he was able to come home after that meeting. So he's home, home a couple of hours early. He's actually out mowing the yard right now uh, because it needed it again. And, um, I am pricing some, some yard sale stuff, some final stuff that I have here that I hadn't priced yet. And, um, I did call, um, and make a doctor's appointment. And it's funny because I needed one for Thursday so that Kevin could go with me. And, um, she said, uh, she said, I said, if at all possible, I would like to get in with her on Thursday. And she said, well, her last, she has one appointment left this week. 
and it's on Thursday morning. Because I said I needed it in the morning. And she said it's on Thursday morning. So I said, perfect, I will take it. So uh, that worked out wonderfully. So Thursday at 9 o'clock, I will be at the doctor's office to find out about my finger. If you haven't been following my vlogs. Now see, right now it's not too bad until I get to this point and it hurts like the devil right now. This morning though, it was like stuck. It's my middle finger. It was like stuck in this position and I couldn't even move it at all. At all. And it wasn't that it was like pain necessarily this morning. It was just stuck. So that is not acceptable to me. And if I had to grasp, grasp something, it would hurt really bad. So um, I will find out about it and I will let you all know because uh, different people have suggested different things and I really I care what you all have to say um, so I will be sure to let you know and let you know if I have uh, medicine or, or what I hate I hate going on any kind of medicine but I especially hate pain medicine because from what I understand um, the medicine that I'm on for neuropathy in my feet I can get it for a whole year without having to go back to the doctor and that's okay but for other pain medicines like regulated pain medicines which I don't know the difference I'm assuming those are stronger or something um, but I think you have to go back every three months for your insurance company company to cover that that's my understanding so if she does decide to put me on something like that I'm gonna ask her you know how long I can go in between coming back because that's a doctor's visit that's money and um, you know we didn't get the really high-end insurance we were trying to save some money so we got the still good insurance but but not the high insurance we're like here instead of being here so we really have to watch how many times we go to the doctor so I have a feeling that this is gonna cause um, me headaches but uh, we'll see so um, I'll let you know how that goes but right now I'm in the utility room because I have clothes in the washer that need to go in the dryer so that's what I'm gonna do now and I'll check in later oh and Guido still isn't feeling well I don't know where he is let me go check now that I'm thinking about it I will just take you with me he still hasn't eaten his balls full is he out back He might have gone out back with he might have gone out back with Kevin, which means he probably would like to come back in. Oh no, he was in here. Where were you at? Where were you sitting, honey? See, he's not sitting in his normal spots at all. So I looked over at his bed. He wasn't in his bed. So he must have been sitting near the t uh, the TV, because um, that's not that's not his normal spot. I'm lo not looking for him in these weird spots. So now he's looking at his food. The tail is straight down. Pugtails are curled. Um, Pugtails do not go straight down unless they're sick. So I'll show you what, what he's doing now. He's gone over to his bed, but I'll, sh I'll show you what he's doing. Are you feeling sick, honey? Are you feeling bad? What's wrong, honey? What's wrong? Yeah. See, this isn't the, even the way I normally sit. You feel bad, don't you, honey? I'm sorry. I'm sorry you feel bad. When Daddy comes in, we'll check your ears. I have to check his ears once a week because of wax. That's so gross, but that's just the truth. Um, and then we need to wipe off your nose because it looks nasty. Maybe that'll make him feel better. I don't, I doubt it. His stomach must be upset. He did go to the bathroom when we were outside, so that's good. Okay, I'm going to leave you alone. Your head's not hot. Um, we are in my car, actually, and we're on our way to, um, it's called WMU, it's our utility company, and uh, what we're doing is, um, 
well, how many weeks ago has that been? Two weeks ago, uh, when we took the um, chimney, the plaster off uh, the chimney, uh, we got four uh, garbage bags full of this heavy plaster. And the limit on the Harvey is 50 pounds. And Kevin believes these are, what, 50 pounds each probably? Yeah. So uh, we're actually, is it here? So we're actually going to deliver these bags. You're allowed to take them to the dump, the uh, utility company. So we're gonna pull up in here and get rid of these bags and I'm gonna show you how it looks where they take the garbage. city and that you're up to date on your bills so uh, we'll probably have to go in um, go in and show our bill and then I will have to back in here and I'll show you how it looks when we get inside okay, this is the big um, bay door this one that the first one that's open and I will be uh, backing into uh, this parking space and at the end of it is where you dump your garbage. So I'll show that to you when we go in. Um, it smells horrendous. Of course, it's garbage. So, um, but anyway, this is how it looks on the outside. All the trucks and Winchester. Yeah, all the trucks in Winchester, all the garbage trucks in Winchester come here and dump their trucks. Those are the spare uh, garbage containers that they pick up on the street. They got a ton of spares. dinner and I had uh, tuna and chips and um, Kevin had um, oh and Ashley has these like mini Twix bars so I had one of those and then Kevin reviewed some Guy Fieri sausages that he really didn't like at all and um, he had some yogurt and uh, so anyway we just fit it Guido ate dinner so that was the first thing he ate all day um, and we just finished cleaning out his wrinkle and um, his ears and his ears weren't that bad because I, I looked at his ears this morning so um, I think he's feeling better he's sitting here in the hallway um, but anyway I talked to my aunt and I told her I had made a doctor's appointment for Thursday and she told me that they would probably do blood work to rule out uh, to rule see if it was rheumatoid arthritis which I didn't know that blood work could tell you that stuff. And she said she works in a doctor's office. And she said, um, yes, it could definitely tell you uh, the blood work. And if it is, then she'll probably send you to a specialist. So I don't look forward to going to a new doctor, but um, we'll see what they say. Um, so right now, Ashley is with a friend. Ashley went to Lexington and, of course, and she's with a friend, and they ate uh, Puccini's pizza. Uh, no, they didn't eat the pizza. They ate, like, calzones. And actually, she texted me a picture, so I'll probably insert it here. But it looks really good, and so I'm assuming they'll come, she'll be home soon, because that was, like, half an hour ago that she texted me. So, um, tonight, Kevin watches S.H.I.E.L.D., and then we watch Jim Henson's, which it's getting down to the final, isn't it? How many do they? Yeah, this might be the season finale uh, tonight. We just don't know. So, But we're not going to go for a walk tonight because when Kevin got home, he mowed the yard. And then we 
took that stuff down to WMU and dropped it off, and it was really heavy bags. And then you also, um, Kevin's in here with me, you sprayed the weed killer. Yeah. yeah, because we bought it weeks ago, and we just never did it. It would rain or something like that, so we never did it. So he did it tonight. So he's kind of tired from yard work, and it's hot. And um, so we're just going to skip it for tonight, and maybe we'll walk tomorrow night. She came home from eating out, and she went to Babies R Us because she's going to a baby shower. And she bought three things. She bought this uh, thermometer, and then she bought this. You said these were on her registry? Yes. And then you bought her an extra? Just something cute. This was on sale for $5. She's going to be born in July. That's adorable. Isn't that cute? That is adorable. Very and a plus, it'll be easy for her to get on and off of her, so. Yeah, very cute. just want you to know, Guido is fine now. It is a little after 8, and he's eating his treat, and he's very happy. His tail's back up where the pug tail should be, and um, he seems to feel much, much, much better. So, maybe he just had a bad tummy.